mathematics. And it's an excellent resource if you want to look through that. I'm not going to stand and read it for you because that would be boring. But there's, it talks about all of the different skills that your child should know in first grade and what they're learning. And a lot of it is exactly some of the things that I've talked to you about. And they're all linked to Common Core. And the other thing that I gave you, because I love games. I love math games because they're games. It's not really learning. It's not homework if it's a game. So I gave everyone a huge packet, and I wish it wasn't front and back, but we have the same thing. So I gave everyone a very big packet filled with dice games. There are dice games. Oh, I also gave you a 120 chart because there's a game that goes with a 120 chart. And the games kind of start out simple, and they get harder and harder. But these are, these are really fun games. And it's kind of like tricking them into math because it's a game. And I've always felt like, oh, there's a dice. It's a game. They love anything with dice. I try to use games with dice as much as possible because there's just something about a dice that really entices them. So there's all kinds of games in here that they can do. Um, I don't know if we have time, quite time to play one, but... There's off a huge packet of them, and they get harder. And I'll talk to you about dice, where you can find them, because they are very cheap. I bought this tin pack at the Dollar Tree over there on Dixie Highway, and this tin pack was one dollar. So I went in there. Actually, when I go in the Dollar Store, I usually spend a lot more than a dollar. But I went in there, and I got a couple packs of these. That's where most of my dice are from. But I have some really cool, fun dice that if, if anyone, they don't carry special ones at the dollar store. But if you get on Amazon and when you leave, if you want to come over here and look at some at my table, I have numeral dice. So they don't just have the dots. So it's a little more challenging. They actually have the number on them. So they would have to, to write the number when they go to add or subtract. And they can use these for this game as well. So if you were to get on Google or Amazon, you, and type in double dice. This is a 12-sided dice. So it goes up to 12 on the outside and the little dice in the inside goes too. Uh, here's a double dice that just has the dots. Again, double dice on Amazon if you're interested because obviously they're really cool. Um, there's also, you can even find, if you want to challenge your child even more, there's, you can find 20-sided dice. You can Google that. Um, I found at the parent-teacher store, if you like peace and quiet at home, you might like little foam dice. They're a lot quieter, and they're just a little bit bigger than those regular dice, because trust me, there's probably 50 dice, sets of dice under all of these cabinets in this classroom, but that's part of the fun. I also have, if you really want it to be quiet, this is something that I found at the parent-teacher store, and you can get a four-pack, sorry, I'm behind you. You can get a four pack. It just opens up pretty easily. And it comes with the set of dice. And it comes with numeral dice. A plus and an equal sign. Just close it. And your child can shake it. And then you won't lose any dice this way. And then, oh, that could be seven plus five or five plus seven. So there's another fun example. And these dice games, if you want to play them over and over, there's a way that you can make them dry erase. Now, if you have access to a copier, you may want to make some extra copies of each game so you can play them more than once. Because the more you play them, especially the same game, you're going to build fluency. You're going to build mastery. So that just helps your child move on and progress through the first grade and second grade. But if you want to make it dry erase, you can buy one of these. I think I got this at the dollar store. A set of sheet protectors, plastic sheet protectors. You could use, I don't know if anyone remembers those wet erase markers. I still use those because they actually clean off better than dry erase. So I, you could use a wet erase. You could use a dry erase marker. You could even use a regular Crayola washable marker. Would be dry erase on this also. So then that way, if you put this sleeve around your piece of paper, you could play the game, write on it, wipe it off, and your paper is still nice and neat. You can play it again. Now the students that are in my class, Give me a thumbs up if you like math dice games. I think I bet you play dice games too. So I know they all, all the students really enjoy these. 
I know they're so excited to go home and play. <laughs> All right. And it's, it's about time for you to go to, I don't know if everyone's going to another section. I know some parents do. So I'll go ahead and release you. Make sure that you turn.